Hey guys, it's Tark with Cycle and FPV, and I'm kind of at a awkward angle here. I'm trying to get some stuff done on our charging station here, which I'm about to put on a picture in picture. So let me do that for you real quick. All right, so what I'm going to do today is I'm, I've got a customer, and I know I've got a couple of you guys that have chargers like these and some other chargers, and you're going to end up with some of the JST batteries for the smaller builds. And I thought here what I would do is uh, go over with you how we're going to set these up. And if you do get a build from me and you have your own charger or you're getting a charger, and this is an older charger, uh, it's probably one of my favorites, pretty dependable. And my customer is actually getting this one today. Uh, and I've just been cleaning it up and I am making sure that I can explain to him uh, how he's going to charge his batteries. And so I figured why not? We'll just go ahead and show you guys at the same time. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be charging an adrenaline battery. This is a, a Thunder Power RC battery. It's a 3S battery and it's a 450 mAh, okay? But it's got a JST connection and then it's balance uh, uh, cable here. So in this case, to charge this, what you're going to do is you're going to need three things. You're going to need the standard charger cable with the XT60 connection on the back, all right? You're going to have the converter from XT60 to JST and then you're going to have your battery. So we're going to go over those settings real quick and make sure that it's understood, all right? First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug in our uh, XT60 to JST converter, and we're gonna plug these leads into the uh, charger. And please make sure to always plug your leads in first. Do not plug the battery in and then do that because you can short it out. Second thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug in our JST connection from our battery into it. And we're gonna find here, since it's a 3S, you're gonna look on the port on the bottom here and you're gonna find a 3S, which is gonna be the middle one, all right? So this is how you're gonna have this battery set up to charge it. Let me see if I can get all that on the camera there for you. All right, so, and sorry, this is my charging table, so you're gonna see a bunch of other wires. Um, all right, so once you have it looking like this, right, uh, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and set the thing, set the charger to program. Now, in this case, we're not charging a high voltage battery, right? So we're gonna to go to program, and um, we can see all the default programs. If you want to set these, you will go to program and set them, but you're going to change your battery type by pressing the screen here. And for those of you who don't have this charger, you're still going to select the same thing and you're going to sec select LiPo. The cell count is going to be three count. And then your current is going to be in this case for safety. I always drop it down to the uh, milliamps, right? So this is a 450 milliamps. So I'll just round it up to uh, uh, half, half an amp basically. So which would be 500 milliamps. Okay. So we're going to do uh, the halves here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click start, all right? And you wanna make sure that you have balance. Sorry, this is one thing I do wanna show you. This will give you a meter of what's in your battery. Uh, this is a regular charge without balancing and a fast charge and so forth. And then this is storage where it's gonna take it down to where if you're not gonna use it, you can safely put it away and then discharge, take it all the way down. We want a balanced charge. That way every cell is getting the same type of charge. And when they get done, they all should be lined up exactly the same on how much power they have, right? On their capacity. So we're gonna hold start and it's gonna check the battery, and it's gonna start charging, all right? And this is what we're gonna watch. So right now it's telling you the battery has 11.38 volts, and it's gonna to wait to get to the proper voltage here, which is uh, roughly gonna be around, you're gonna get about 4.3 volts uh, per cell, and so you're gonna get somewhere around 12.9, uh, 12.6, 12.9 uh, volts total. I will come back and check that. It depends on the battery, depends on the capacity here of where it's going. High voltage, you're gonna end up with more, um, but in this case, we're going to uh, assume that we're going to get somewhere around 4.3 uh, volts, okay? So that's how you set this up. So if you are charging this type of battery, or if you have this type of charger, or you have, I have the Thunder Power RC chargers here, um, just make sure you follow these instructions. Make sure you don't charge on high voltage unless your battery specifically says it's a high voltage battery, and make sure that you uh, select balance as you're charging uh, instead of just charge or fast charge. And um, also make sure that when you do your, uh, the current of what you're gonna charge the rate, rule of thumb is unless you read on the battery that it can charge at a faster rate, I always take and charge at the rate of the milliamp. So if you have, a, um, if you have an 1800, then that's gonna be 1 1.8. If you have a 500, then that's gonna be 0.5, okay? So just follow those instructions and you should be able to get this working with no problem. And to my customer that is actually getting this, man, I appreciate the business. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your new uh, Revelation Quad and uh, enjoy these batteries, take good care of them in the last few long time. All right, guys, that pretty much does it for me. Uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to hit me up at targetcyclonefpv.com and uh, we'll put some videos out for you. If not, God bless, safe flying, and we'll see you soon. Bye.